Rabbits are fun, loving fur balls that never fail to entertain their owners with their crazy antics. And when you have the pleasure of sharing your life with one of these touching little mammals, it is normal to wonder if it would be happier with a companion. The simple answer is yes because rabbits are incredibly social animals that need to live with their peers to thrive. Why do rabbits need a companion? Like any animal, rabbits have physiological and social needs, if not met, they can lead to behavioral issues. Because, unlike the dog or the cat, the rabbit is not a predator but a prey. This position in the food chain induces particular behaviors. On the one hand, living with other rabbits and sharing the same habitat is reassuring and stabilizing for these fearful little creatures. This is why, in their natural habitat, rabbits prefer to stay in groups, even outside their burrows, because they are able to perceive a possible danger better. Additionally, rabbits tend to cluster together to sleep. They adopt relaxed positions more easily, hind legs to the side or in line with the body or lying on their side, when sleeping close to each other. A rabbit that sleeps alone, isolated from its congeners, will sleep in a position of alert, without completely closing its eyes, at the risk of being devoured by a potential predator. What happens when a rabbit gets lonely? Nibbling. If your rabbit chews on his cage bars or your fingers, he is trying to get your attention. If he pokes you with his nose and nibbles you, it usually means he wants you to stroke or play with him. Destructive behavior. When rabbits feel lonely, they sometimes become hyperactive and get angry. While it is normal for a rabbit to dig, this destructive behavior can escalate quickly. Be careful if your rabbit suddenly starts chewing on the carpet or the furniture, this behavior is abnormal and can be a sign of a lack of attention or worse. Signs of stress or withdrawal. Some rabbits become depressed when left alone for too long. They isolate themselves from their humans and refuse to interact, even when asked. A depressed rabbit may also hide or refuse to come out of its cage. He may not respond when you try to stroke or play with him. Additionally, a rabbit that feels lonely may begin to pull out its hair, stop feeding, and become lethargic. How to introduce a new companion to your rabbit. You've finally decided to adopt a new companion for your little bunny to make him feel less alone. While this is a great idea, be aware that rabbit cohabitation won't be smooth in the early days, unless you've adopted two baby rabbits together. Here are some tips for facilitating cohabitation between two rabbits. Allow time. If you think adopting a second bunny will save you time spending time with your furball, think again. Your bunny will need you just as much, and your second bunny too. Therefore, for the well-being of your two animals, you will need to spend even more time with them than before. Not to mention the doubling workload. Because yes, having two rabbits also means having twice as much space to clean, litter to change, food to buy, veterinary care to pay, etc. Increase the available space. If you plan to adopt a second rabbit, it is essential to opt for a larger cage or a larger enclosure. Indeed, two rabbits can live together, but only if the space they have is large enough for them to maintain a minimum of privacy. Choose the sex. Although the character is more important for a successful relationship between two rabbits, gender can also make a difference. Therefore, it is generally recommended to opt for a male and a female, however, sterilization is necessary in both cases. Note that age does not matter. However, it is best to choose two rabbits of the same age so that they have roughly the same life expectancy. This will prevent one of them from being left alone for several years. Do not rush the first meeting. The rabbit is a territorial animal. For this reason, when it is time for introductions, do not place your new rabbit directly into your other rabbit's cage. The latter could quickly be aggressive. Instead, install the newcomer in a separate cage and in another room for two weeks. This will allow him to explore his new territory in peace, to get to know you but also to leave his scent on you. As you take care of your first rabbit, you will gradually get him used to the new smell, which will allow him to be more relaxed on the day of the meeting. Plus, keeping your new rabbit in quarantine helps prevent the possible spread of disease. This is, therefore, an essential step. Carefully plan rabbit meetings. Once the fortnight of quarantine has passed, you can prepare the first meeting between your two rabbits. To do this, set up your new rabbit's cage in a neutral room. Then, let your first bunny enter this room and walk around the cage as they see fit. The two animals will get to know each other by sniffing each other through the bars. If neither rabbit is showing signs of aggression, that's a good start. And if they ignore each other, that's even better. Indeed, in rabbit language, this means that the presence of the other is wholly tolerated. You can then move on to the real encounter. Install your two rabbits in a neutral room, even a hallway, or in the garden, and let them discover each other physically. 
However, stay nearby in case it escalates, and don't hesitate to give them treats during the meeting to make the time a pleasant and positive experience. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.